In the 80s, when music on television came roaring into our living rooms, the world was exposed to a new concept in entertainment. It was a brilliant concept that sparked a cultural phenomenon from its inception. Now you're about to hear from Les Garland, one of the visionaries who helped shape that revolution, a passionate music lover who has consistently remained at the forefront of the entertainment industry. Les is the president and creative driving force behind the Tube Music Network. Les is one of the most influential and legendary major market radio programmers of all time, and a co-founder and originator of MTV and VH1. He was responsible for launching and developing the first interactive music video channel, The Box, now MTV2, into over 40 million homes around the world. Taking his expertise to the internet, he developed multiple Webby winner online entertainment portals, Sputnik7.com. The Tube is a pure music channel. When I say pure music channel, I mean it's a channel that will feature music content 24-7. When the consumer flips on the tube, bam, it's going to be the Beatles, the Who, the Rolling Stones, from today's superstars, uh, Nora Jones, David Gray, Rod Stewart's new material. What a great comeback Rod is having. The tube will be pure music all the time, aimed at an audience that loves and prefers quality music. The Tube is a radical departure from anything on TV or radio. It's a music network that will electrify music lovers with a pure all-music format which delivers the best of the best using the most technologically advanced digital sight and sound. Now, The Tube is TV for people who really love music, their music, and only The Tube will have the courage to blow every rule in the book and feature four decades of the greatest music of all time by the greatest artist of all time. And we're talking 24 hours a day. Uh, it's like when I almost went out on a date with this guy and I was like, so what kind of music do you listen to? And he was like, oh, like German, industrial, 1970s. And I was like, hmm, we have nothing in common. It's like, bye. <laughs> Who says that? Last year's most successful touring acts are not the most played on radio and TV. Bruce Springsteen, Fleetwood Mac, The Eagles, Paul McCartney, The Rolling Stones, Simon and Garfunkel, Billy Joel, and on and on. Those are core tube artists. And there's a disconnect between what's being played on the radio and who's selling the concert tickets. There's a huge audience out there that's not being served the music that we believe they crave. differentiates the tube the tube is about real music quality music from the greatest artists of all time people still come up to me and tell me about the first time they saw a groundbreaking video and those songs resonate just as loudly today have you ever heard the joke you know you're old when you can remember when there was actually music on television 
That's got to change. The tube is going to bring music back to television. Whether it's rare concert footage, new tracks by heritage artists, or just release videos by emerging acts, the tube is the only place you can see the greatest music in history since the birth of the Beatles. Video after video, performance after performance, 365 days a year. Old will become new again on the tube. Take an old song from the greatest rock and roll band in the world and inject it with a new mix and new vivid digital images. That, my friend, is the tube. I'm Dennis Hopper, and you're watching the tube. Totally tubular. <laughs> My mom was telling me about the Beatles when I was little, and she said no. And she was telling me about like who her favorite was because she loved. She's a George person, and she said everyone loves Paul because he's really cute. And then I was like, well, no one likes Ringo. And she's like, no. And I'm like, then I like Ringo. <laughs> Music is the world's universal form of communication. It touches every person of every culture on the globe to the tune of $40 billion annually. And the U.S. recording industry accounts for fully one-third of that world market. The Tube we use every available distribution outlet to capture its share of this market. The Tube audience will be able to buy the music they hear and see immediately, online or on the phone right from home. Wow, wow, wow. Research indicates the tube will have the strongest appeal among the most economically powerful demographic in history, the 35 plus age group, which accounts for two thirds of all consumer spending and is 80 million strong. Consumers at the upper end of this age group are more likely than other age groups to own technology like large screen TVs and they're the fastest growing internet population. The tube will attract the younger audience as well. Why? Because it's not about age, it's about attitude. People are the luckiest people in the world. Hello, gorgeous. I deal with people that will spend money on a record before they'll pay their rent. Mostly guys are into collecting, more than girls, for some reason. And I've had a few times where the wives would say, it's it's either the record collection or me. One's got to go. And, and unfortunately, most of the time, the guys will say, see you later. 